Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Okay, before I start this video, I know I'm looking this way right now and I'm going to be looking differently in the rest of the video because I'm pre-recording this because I just got these packages in the mail and I wanted to do a quick unboxing and show you guys what it looks like brand new in the box before I actually use it in the rest of this video. So I got two items in that I want to show y'all and I want to tell y'all really quick about the first item I'm going to be showing you. So about a month ago, me and Alan was in the hair salon getting our hair done. And on the floor of the salon, there was this little machine that when they were cutting people's hair, they would just take a broom and sweep it up to this little machine. And I was like, what on earth is that? Because I need it. First of all, because just everyday crumbs and things on my floor, but the cat hair and the litter, I thought that this would be so perfect for. I mean, they literally just swept the hair up to this little machine and it sucked it up. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you right now. Okay, hi, welcome to my floor. So I'm down here so I can open up this package. Okay, so I've got a little booklet here. I'll look at that in a minute. I'm way too excited to see this little machine. So this is called the IVAC, and they had three different options, which I'll tell you about later, but this is the one that I chose. It's white and silver to match my home decor because it's going to be sitting around here. So this is what it looks like. I am so excited to try this out. So it's got a little handle here so you can move it around. It's white and gray. Got a little plug here. Got some options here on the back. The power, activate, auto, manual, and full. It's a touchless vacuum. So this is going to help me eliminate um, so much of my problems here in my apartment. Like I said, everyday issues and cat hair and litter. But yeah, so I'm going to plug this in. I'm gonna look at the instructions and see how this works and then we're gonna test it out. All right, so really all you do is uh, plug it up and click power and then uh, you push it again to change it from auto to manual. But I wanted to show you guys, this is the first place I'm gonna be trying it at. So we just got a new litter box because litter is an issue when you have a cat. So we got this litter box, it's a hooded litter box. We got a little litter mat here, but as you can see, this is a problem. If you own a cat, you know what I'm talking about. Woo! So I'm going to be testing this out for the first time and see how it works with litter. And I'm really excited and I hope it works really well because this is a big issue around here. Okay, so I have my eye back plugged up. I'm gonna gather up some of my litter with my broom. And let's see how this works. Oh snap. Yeah, so all I did was sweeped it towards it and it sucked it right up through the bottom. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. So the cool thing about the iVac is it's actually motion censored. 
So it doesn't do anything until I put this broom up to it and then bam. Yeah, this little thing is pretty amazing. There's the little vacuum down there at the bottom and there is the sensor. And yeah, I love this. So yeah, that was pretty impressive and I'm so happy that I got it because I really needed something like that. Honestly, I'm not a fan of a dust pan and I don't always like to vacuum up the litter, if you know what I mean. So if you deal with a lot of pet hair or litter or you have kids, crumbs, things all over, iVac would be perfect for you. So I'm going to show you guys another product I got. I'm just opening the box. Let's check it out. This should be quite interesting. Okay, so I got all the pieces out. And like I said, this is called the Nomo. And this is actually to be used in your bathroom. Um, their slogan is no more odor. So I pulled up their website to show you guys. So it's called Nomo, no more odor. Experience clean air today. It eliminates embarrassing bathroom odor. It is the best air purifier and it actually hooks on to your toilet. Um, it's a chemical free clean. It has an activated charcoal filter that captures odor molecules and prevents them from escaping into your bathroom. So it's only clean chemical free air that's left behind. I think this is going to be very interesting. So I'm going to check out the instructions. I'm gonna put it together. <laughs> We're gonna do a tester. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Too bad the interwebs doesn't have smell -o vision All right, so I got a lot of pieces to work with here. So once again, I'm gonna cut the camera off. We're gonna read these instructions and I'm gonna put her together. So this was pretty simple to put together. You just attach the top piece to the bottom piece. Then we're going to add in our filter. And then it comes with two options um, for attaching it to your toilet. So you can actually hang it on the side of the bowl on whatever side you choose. Or um, it also comes with these extra pieces here where you can actually attach it to the back of the bowl. So, or you know, behind the seat. So I'm actually gonna be just attaching it on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and place my filter inside here and then we're gonna attach the top and I'm pretty sure this is motion activated. So you just set it in there. That's cool. All right, then we're going to um, put the top and I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna put this on the right side of my toilet so that you can't see it. <laughs> So it also comes with a charger because you have to charge it, but check this out. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to my toilet and I'm gonna show you what it looks like after. And um, I just realized this is gonna be so perfect because I am in a smaller one bedroom, one bathroom apartment, but also now that we have the litter box in the bathroom, girl. Okay, so here it is. Um, I just attached it to my toilet on the side. We're gonna turn it on here. Ah, that is pretty cool. Okay, so I've been trying to get familiar with the Nomo and I just found out that um, when you push power and you hear it like that, that is the manual mode and the, um, the Nomo is gonna run for three minutes run time per cycle or if you press it for two seconds you'll put it in motion sensor mode so with the touchless mode or the motion sensor mode like i called it um actually all you have to do is wave your hand in front of it so when you're done using the bathroom you just wave your hand in front of it and it cuts on and off that is amazing so yeah so it's activated charcoal it cleans 10 feet of air per minute and it's an all natural green clean. So yeah, the second item that I got is the Nomo No More Odor and I can't wait to actually <laughs> test it out. <laughs> can't do that on camera, but I'll let you know how it works. Like I said, we literally just got that litter box and put it in the bathroom. We're trying out a new system with the litter box and the cats because it's just been crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the Nomo couldn't have come at a more perfect time. 
We literally just put that litter box in there last night. So it's gonna, um, it's gonna be very beneficial for us in several ways. I literally just got um, finished drinking my coffee. I've had two cups of coffee and I feel literally dead. It seems like it took me like an hour to drink this coffee and I could barely keep my eyes open. I'm so tired today, I feel like death. But anyway, so I was thinking I'm gonna do a cleaning video today, which I know the last few videos I've posted have been cleaning videos, but let me show you what my place looks like right now and you'll see why um, I wanted to do a cleaning video because it's messy in here. So yeah, let's clean. I gotta go change my clothes quick though. I ain't wearing this big old t-shirt today. Ain't happening, girl. So this is what my place is looking like right now. <laughs> oh my God, girl, your place is so clean. Why are you cleaning it when it looks so clean and it looks so good? Oh my God, girl, you crazy. Oh my God. Oh, look at all that. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh my God. All right, so this is easy to straighten up, no big deal. Yeah, there's a recipe card sitting there. What's it to you? But um, this right here is actually laundry I need to put away, which I've been dreading because I hate putting laundry away. This is garbage. This needs to be put away. This is garbage. And baby, you already know that's garbage. Come on now. But yeah, so anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, and we're going to be using the IVAC today. Yes. Ooh. Yes, girl. Going to be using it again. Um, but yeah. 50,000. <laughs> okay. No more talking. You know what? Actually, I changed my mind. I am going to wear this big t-shirt. You want to know why? One, I ain't trying to get all dressed up to clean. It's not a fashion show. I'm trying to clean my home. And two, this is my grandpa's t-shirt. And my grandpa was an amazing man, so. <laughs> um, I actually did tie it up though, so I could look a little bit cuter, because this was like a really big t-shirt, but whatever. I ain't trying to be Miss America. I'm just trying to vacuum the floor, honey. So I'm just starting off here by smashing this garbage bag down so I can put this box on top so it will be easier to bring out to the garbage can. So I've told y'all before that our apartment actually has um, garbage pickup every night, but sometimes I like to just walk it down to the garbage because I don't feel like waiting to put it out and I hate it sitting in my home. And this is a big box that I got from HelloFresh, which you will be seeing a video on soon. And my cats fell in love with it, which I feel really bad for taking it from them, but it's got to go. So I'm just picking up the couch a little bit, but I'm going to give Kiki some kisses first. But um, I always make a mess on this couch because it's like a big bed. So when you sit in it, all you want to do is chillax with some blankies and pillows. So that's why every day I got to fold up the blankets because the night before I was watching movies while snuggling up with that blanket. You know what I mean? And so in today's video, I vacuum a lot of my floor, but I didn't do any mopping today just because I didn't feel like it. You know, everyone thinks that I clean all day and that's literally all I do. All I do is just clean all day from the time I wake up till I go to bed, but that is not true. I do a little bit of cleaning. I maintain my home. Um, sometimes I let it get a little messy. Sometimes I don't clean at all. Okay. 
But uh, yeah, I just didn't feel like mopping and that was my point, but I decided to give a big speech, okay? But here I am vacuuming. There I go. So I really love these little chairs we got. We got them back in Virginia. I think they're so cute and they're comfy and all that fun stuff. But one thing I can't stand about them is the bottom part because I don't know how, but they get covered in cat hair. So I'm just trying to wipe them down and clean them right now. I'm using water and vinegar and a paper towel, but I'm thinking about maybe getting some new stools that don't have that bottom part so I don't have to see that cat hair all over it because it gets pretty annoying. And now I'm cleaning out my dishwasher. I think it's best every night before you go to bed, make sure that dishwasher is loaded, turn it on, let it run while you're watching TV or while you're sleeping. That way when you get up in the morning, you can unload the dishwasher and start fresh with the dirty dishes of the day. But like I've told y'all before, I cannot stand unloading a dishwasher. I don't mind loading it because I know I'm just gonna throw those dishes in there and then I'm gonna walk away and I'm not gonna look at it. But when I have to unload it, oh my gosh, I dread it so much. I can't stand it.
So now I'm just gonna wipe off my kitchen counters with some water and vinegar again and my rags that I've been telling you guys about which are absolutely amazing and you need to try them. And uh, you know what? On this day, which was yesterday, I accidentally left the coffee pot on for too long and it ended up burning up and it got really disgusting and smelled funky. And by this morning when I woke up, I realized my coffee pot was broke. So I'm pretty bummed about that. So I'm going to have to get a coffee pot because I had to drink tea this morning. And you know what? It just ain't working for me. I need some coffee, y'all. But I don't know why I'm telling y'all that. I just decided to tell y'all that. <laughs> My bad. It was my mistake. I left the coffee pot on and I ruined it and it's broke and now I don't have coffee. Say a little prayer for me. So I cannot tell y'all enough how much I love this iVac. First of all, I'm not a fan of sweeping, but I'll do it if I have to, but I'm really not a fan of sweeping it into a dustpan. I'm not good at it and I don't feel like it works well for me. And to be honest, since I'm getting older, I know I'm not old, but I am getting older. And because of my accident that I was in, I have a lot of back problems. So bending down, squatting down, doing things, it really, bothers my back so this is so perfect for me because I can just sweep it right up to the IVAC and it sucks it right up no problem and it does an excellent job which you're gonna see in the next clip also I wanted to say without going into too many details because that's TMI but honey the Nomo is absolutely amazing seriously when you're done using the restroom you just wave your hand over that sensor it turns on and bam it gets the job done and like i said it is perfect for our bathroom with the litter box in there as well because even if the kitties just use the potty and maybe there is a little smell lingering you just turn on the nomo and it eliminates that like literally within seconds absolutely amazing i've honestly been thinking where has this thing been all of my life and why does everyone not own one you need to because it's awesome
Also, this little IVAC holds a lot of what you sweep into it, which I'm gonna show you here. You just take the front piece off, take the top part off, and then as you can see in there, there is the stuff that I swept up the day before and um, on this day during this video. So it can hold a lot in there and then you just empty it in the trash. It's so cool. So now it's time to make my bed. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I was feeling a little lazy and tired at this point, and I really didn't even feel like making my bed, but I love seeing my bed made, so I kind of um, did a lazy route, just kind of worked around it, straightened it up, and threw it all together. Ended up looking nice, but you could tell I didn't put much effort into it, because I literally did not feel like it. I'm just being honest.
So the last thing I have to do now is just um, take the garbage down to the garbage can, package up all of these orders so they'll be out of the way, deal with these orders so they'll be out of the way, and yeah, I'm finished cleaning for the day. Woo, the cats have gone wild. Cats gone wild, baby. Yep. Anyways, I'm wore out. feel like I'm about to die. So uh, I'm going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Give this video a like. Leave me some comments down below because I would love to hear from you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.